This is a moment. Like these are dreams. This is what dreams are made of. You know, you never with a guy that wants to take what's yours. It, it's it's the best feeling in all the sports. Has to be. Robert Whitaker is in the black with gold trim. Israel Adesanya in the white with gold trim. You will get constant stance switches out of Adesanya. Whitaker has to make this fight a little bit dirty. It can't look too clean. If it looks too clean, you're fighting Israel's fight. If it's just a straight kickboxing match, there aren't many people in the world that can beat Israel at that. You got to make it ugly a little bit. Whitaker does believe he has the striking advantage despite what would appear to be an obvious edge in wrestling and grappling. I'm sure Adesanya might take issue with that given all the strides he has made to round out his game over the last few years. Ades oh. Adesanya's wrestling has improved a ton. John, so it may be discouraging for guys to try to take him down at this point. It is amazing how beloved Robert Whitaker is in this nation as he tries to find his way into striking range. Adesanya lands the jab. Nice head movement by Adesanya. You see he's wide-eyed as he tries to get his reads here early. This is what Adesanya has to do. He has to fight behind that jab. He can't allow Whitaker to get close. You know, early we talked about guys cutting weight into the wrong division. Talk about Robert Whitaker, a guy that once he went up from 170, became the champion of the world and has become one of the best pound for pound fighters in the entire UFC. Right, and Adesanya doesn't cut a lot of weight. We've seen him at times come in as low as 183, and it looked like he touched Whitaker there. Whitaker is throwing that jab up at Adesanya. As he charges, he's throwing that jab up into Israel. And he's hit Israel a couple times, and I think Izzy respects his power now. Whitaker has been the busier striker early. Adesanya a touch more efficient. First clinch situation and a quick breakaway. Your hand is open on the release. Okay, it's okay. Look at me. Oh, take time, take time. I saw the hand open on the release. Completely accidental. Let's go. Momentary pause in the action due to an inadvertent eye poke. Back to it now. Watching how calm Adesanya is when Whitaker's throwing everything with so much heat is crazy. Sonya has forced some misses out of Whitaker here early on as he attacks the lower half, but you got to think Rob was expectant that there might be some of that. A lot of big actions by Robert Whitaker, though. Throwing big old looping punches, not being as straight as he normally is. Wants to get to Adesanya. Adesanya with authority up top. Whitaker wise to raise that right hand. Adesanya said he wouldn't be surprised by any action from Robert Whitaker tonight. Said he might try to shoot early on. That does not appear to be the case through four minutes. You see the striking numbers, the significant strikes. Less than a minute now to go round one. But just watching, you know, Whitaker's throwing everything so hard. Adesanya still just kind of feeling him out. Big lunging strikes by Whitaker. Adesanya trying to create an angle there. Both guys so cerebral in there, both masters at making adjustments and 
Figure to try to make some in advance of this second round here forthcoming. A very close round, a big action. Oh! oh! Big knockdown! That's it! Wait, is that the end of the round? Okay, the that was the horn. Okay. Oh my goodness, I thought the fight was Huge over. knockdown. Mark Goddard obviously heard the horn, I did not. I was just about to say, a big action could win you the round. And that action right there, before the horn or after, will stick with the judges, and I believe Israel Asanya won that first round. Big moment for the interim champion. Well, perhaps that knockdown happened right on the horn. Yeah, I mean, I didn't hear it, but I mean, it's very loud up in here, so uh, it might have been right after. All right, we are going to listen back to the end of the round. A huge knockdown for Israel Adesanya, late round one. I mean, big shot by Izzy right before the bell. And look, he could have got that shot off, but he was a good sport. Didn't land that extra punch because he didn't need to. But big moment for the interim champion. Horn sounded a lot louder on the replay than in real time. Yeah. Second round underway now. We'll see the extent to which Robert Whitaker is compromised after a big moment for the last style bender to close round one. It's because he's lunging in there. He's not taking his time. I think he watched Gaslam and saw the good that Gaslam was doing. But you got to remember, Gaslam took a lot of damage fighting in that style against Adesanya. Stiff jab from Whitaker, backs out Adesanya, and now a right hand from Bobby Knuckles. How about the dexterity, the head movement for Israel Adesanya? Beautiful to watch. Adesanya's looking to counter with hooks whenever Robert Whitaker is, is engaged. Look at that. He's throwing the right hook when he stands switches or he's throwing that left hook. Beautiful jab from the last style bender. He's got Rob chasing him. And he's just sliding out of range. Not going far away from Whitaker, but just enough to reestablish him taking the center of the octagon. I love that about Edesanya's fighting style. He will evade, but right away get back on the offense. have gone by here in round two, and if you know Adesanya, you know he's not going to force the finish. Oh, beautiful body work now from Adesanya. He's starting to feel himself now. He's starting to get into his flow. That is not good for Robert Whitaker. Now Whitaker with a pretty good combination, not a ton of sting on it. Well, Israel's rolling there. So nothing's landing completely clean. Sonia effectively attacks that lead leg of Robert Whitaker now. Left hook is there for the Reaper. <laughs> Whitaker dealing with some blood coming out of that nose, goes high with the kick. Got Asanya easily backs up out of harm's way. And now Whitaker goes high with the kick and lands. counter there from Whitaker. The quickness of Adesanya to evade these high kicks. Hands down, just leaning back out of the range of those kicks. He's got to be very careful. Oh! Whitaker nearly out on his feet. Adesanya trying to close it out. Israel Adesanya is the undisputed king of the middleweights. Man, every time Rob jumped in there, he was taking damage. And look what happened. Went in there again, caught that right hook counter again by Edison. He landed it over and over again. 
Less than two years into his UFC career, Israel Adesanya is what he knew and thought he was, the best middleweight on planet Earth. Incredible. Just a fantastic performance by Adesanya. Picking his spots, knowing exactly when to attack, when to counter, and is not a guy that is known for a one-strike knockout guy, but put Whitaker out on two occasions in two rounds in this fight. And a winning streak for Robert Whitaker that dates to 2014, goes by the boards with immediacy here tonight. And here it is. Look at that. It's just the counters over and over when they were going in and exchanging. Izzy kept landing those strikes. Go to the beginning at the end of the first round. Left hook counter. Again, Robert feels comfortable. They're throwing. Izzy lands. Look. Boom. Left hook right on the chin as he's leaning back. Hurts Whitaker. Jumps on him for the finish. What a performance by the last style bender. And I would say a star is born, but this star was born a long time ago. But Israel Adesanya, who has captivated the MMA masses every step of the way, certainly reels in a big one tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. And now, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya.